Assessment of nutritional status. Nutritional status is the current body status of a person related to their state of nourishment that is the consumption and utilization of nutrients. It is determined by a complex interaction between external factors are age, nutrition, behavior, physical activity and internal factors are food safety, social, economic and cultural circumstances. By the end of this lecture you will get to know the different methods of assessing the nutritional status and understand the basic anthropometric techniques, applications and reference standard nutrition in healthcare. The nutritional status of an individual is often the result of many interrelated factors. It is influenced by food intake, quantity and quality and physical health. There are different problems which lead to poor nutritional status are health problem which includes altered nutrition needs and it can lead to malnutrition. Second, poor nutrition status. It can be influenced the course of disease and body response to treatment. Third, hospitalized patients. 40 to 60 percent with acute illness are malnourished. How illness affect nutrition status? The illness effect of nutrition status that it reduces food intake that is nausea and inflammation of mouth. Interferes with digestion and absorption. Dietary restriction for some surgeries or chronic illness. Drain on financial resources and emotionally upset. How to identify risk of malnutrition? By nutrition screening, identify person at risk for nutrition problem must be done within 24 hours after admission and should be completed within 5 to 15 minutes. Through screening, which includes medical diagnosis, medical record, physical measurement and lab reports and diet history. Planning care. First, the nutrition care process which include nutrition assessment, nutrition diagnosis, nutrition intervention, nutrition monitoring and evaluation. Second, the nursing process which includes assessment, nursing diagnosis, outcome identification, planning, implementation and evaluation. What is the process of nutrition care? Assessment which includes medical, social, dietary history, biochemical analysis and physical exam. Diagnosis, which includes actual or potential signs and symptoms. Intervention, that is dietary changes, nutrition education, medication changes. Monitoring and evaluation that may need to modify the plan and must be flexible. Anthropometric data. It is a measurement of body, height, weight and proportion. It is an essential component of clinical examination of infants, children, pregnant women. It is used to evaluate both under and over nutrition. Accurate measurement of height and weight is essential. The result can be used to evaluate the physical growth of the child. For growth monitoring, the data are plotted on growth charts o over a period of time that is enough to calculate growth velocity which can be compared to international standards. Assessment of nutritional status. Functional assessment that is exercise tolerance, respiratory muscle strength and immunity. Integrating assessment data it includes subjective global assessment, combines historical information with result of physical examination. Now let us go through the evaluation of nutritional status. First, nutritional status assessment enables to determine whether a population group is well nourished by using the anthropometric measurement biochemical testing. Second, the main data collection methodologies that provide the information are based on surveys, growth monitoring and school census data. Third, additional information on factors such as food security, livelihood, healthcare practices is usually necessary to interpret nutritional status data and determine the likely causes of malnutrition. Fourth, Information on nutritional status which combined with the analysis of underlying causes that will provide the understanding needs to select the appropriate intervention. Fifth, experience shows that multi-sectorial intervention have a better chance of improving the nutritional status of the population. Moving further, let us study the nutritional status of preschool children. For the sustainability of nutrition program and to further lower the malnutrition rate in the region. 
local government stress to allocate funds for the regular operation which is nutrition program specially among preschool children government anti hunger mitigation program which continues the training health workers and day care workers in the region in this last session we have covered the different problems which leads to poor nutritional status planning care and different concept of nutritional status thank you